Hi, it's Eileen from Elegant Marketplace, and today in the Divi Theme Users group over on Facebook, somebody posted this super cool website and asked how the parallax effect was achieved. So you can see what happens here is we're starting with one image. It's got this cool logo on top of it, and when you scroll, the background stays put, and then we get this iTunes effect with the, another image. So I want to show you, I made a mock-up of this picture that I took over or I used from unsplash.com, which I love. And if you scroll down, you can see I have the exact same image with this green effect. And then if you keep scrolling, I have another image entirely of this yoga person that I also downloaded from Unsplash. And then on Canva, I made this little sort of mock logo. Now, clearly, if you were using this for a client, you would make this background transparent and you know the colors different and maybe the whole thing would overlay. But I wanted to show you the effect. This is actually two columns as opposed to this, which is just one column, and I'll explain that a little bit more over here. So when you create your new page or post, you are going to want to use the um, Divi, the page builder, not the default editor, because I already have the page built. And then you are going to add a standard section, and I'll show you. You're going to choose one column, and here you are going to upload an image. So we have the full color. You'll set that as the background, and then you'll scroll down, and you'll change the parallax effect from the default no to yes. You'll leave this as is, and you'll save it. Now, you need to increase the height of that image. So here, you're going to insert a module, and you're going to choose divider. You don't want to show the divider because it's invisible. You change the height from one. I set mine at 500. You set it to whatever the height of your image is and you'll save it. Then easily to get the next section you can just click clone the section and that's what I have here and if you click you'll see I have the green tone image. And then for this one, when I added the section, I chose two columns. And then I inserted a module. I chose image. Namaste. And you set, you save, and you see we have two columns, which is, gives you the effect of the image right here. So then you simply update and you're good to go. If you have any questions, just let us know. Thank you.